Hey, what's happening, everybody? So, just doing a quick video um, on how to get any clips that you save on your PlayStation 4 to be able to save them onto your phone or upload them to like Instagram, for example. So, um, yeah, there's a couple things that you're gonna need. Uh, you have to have Share Factory downloaded onto your PlayStation, um, and that's just what you use to edit your videos and like upload them to YouTube. And uh, you're also gonna have to have an Instagram account, and you're also gonna have to have a YouTube account. And so, yeah, make sure you remember your. Um, Obviously, your Instagram email and password, but more importantly, your YouTube's uh, email and password that you use, because you have to link that on your PlayStation 4. Um, and you're also gonna have to have a uh, Google Chrome on either like a phone or iPad or whatever you want to be able to save the videos onto. You have to have Google Chrome on that. So um, yeah, let's hop right into the process and what you do to be able to download your stuff. All right, so um, once you get your clip edited and just made the way you want it to like you know be and everything, um, you just go ahead and click the options button. And then uh, it'll pull up this thing. You can click export to gallery, which will just render your video. First, you have to click it to be able to upload it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right. So um, once it's done rendering your like clip, uh, it'll give you the option to share. And you can either share it to Facebook, Twitter, or um, YouTube. And YouTube, you kind of got to use it as the middleman to be able to get your uh, clip that you made to Instagram. So um, I can't actually show you this part because it won't let me rec uh, like record the screen for some reason. But um, yeah, you just click share, and then it'll ask you know if you want to do it to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and you click YouTube. And um, if you haven't already linked your account, you're gonna have to do it. So it'll ask for your email and uh, your password, and then um, from there it'll pull up a little screen that'll have the video that you made or the clip that you made, and um, you can upload from there. You can also like change the title or give it a description or tags, um, and you can also make it public or private. And I always make my clips that I put to Instagram private, just so that way. Since I make normal YouTube videos as well, people don't um, just see the like clips and stuff. They can only see the videos I make. They don't see the little clips. And um, yeah, so anyways, once you um, get to that part and like finish the upload and everything, you can actually as well like uh, check your notifications too on your PlayStation to see if um, it has uploaded or how long it has left. And anyways, once you do that, uh, so uh, I have an Android phone. You can also use like an iPad, iPhone, whatever. Um, and I use Google Chrome, which works the best to be able to download my like videos onto a device to um, from there put it onto Instagram. And so on my phone, if you just use Google Chrome and uh, you go into Google Chrome, you search YouTube, and then once you click on the you know YouTube um, in the top right, you can sign into your YouTube account. There's a little thing you can click on, and it'll ask for your uh, like email or whatever. And um, after you do that and you sign in and everything, you should be able to click on the top right again, like on your icon, and it should say Creator Studio. So you click Creator Studio, and then once you click on Creator, uh, Creator Studio, um, on the left-hand side of like your screen, it should pull up like a couple different things you can click on, like tabs, and one of them should say Video Manager. And so you click on Video Manager, and after you click on Video Manager, uh, it'll have all your videos and stuff pulled up, and underneath or like right next to a thumbnail of your video it should have a little box that says edit and then next to that it should have a little down arrow and if you click on the down arrow it'll pull up a couple different options that you can do and one of those is download so you can click download and then uh, once it downloads that it'll download it like right into your camera roll or your gallery or whatever and then uh, from there yeah you can put it onto Instagram or like just send it to someone over text or like over snap or whatever you want to do so um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys found this helpful and it'll, you know, be able to upload some clips to Instagram now. So anyways, yeah, peace out. Have a good one.